So, here I am at X the Unknown, and I thought I'd show a new little project that I got inspired to, uh, to do after uh, seeing something similar on, uh, on Reddit, which is an underwater, actually under ice, house. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know how they did it, and there's various ways to clear stuff, uh, clear underwater areas, but I thought I'd show how I'm clearing the underwater area, because it's all about me. No, just because it's, uh, it's an interesting technique that I hadn't seen before. I'm sure someone else has figured it out. But anyway, here's what I'm doing. So, as you can see, I'm putting down signs. And, uh, this is, you know, these are just a wall of signs. These are signs on top of signs here and so on. So, like, if I were to knock out that sign, all of these signs would fall. That would be very bad. Um, but anyway, what you can do is you can put signs beyond where you have a line of signs holding off the water. So what I'm trying to do is clear out all the water here, right? So, I cleared out that, and, uh, or I put signs beyond the line, and then I can just uh, take these out. And that's really about it. I'm just going to lather, rinse, and repeat on this one, and uh, I'll try to show you more of the place when it's all done. So, here I've cleared all the uh, sort of level one stuff, the stuff where it was just one high uh, gap in the water. And so this level 2 stuff, I'm, uh, I'm still working on techniques here. So this is this is one technique that I've sort of worked on, which is just simply, hey, make it level 1. Like this. Just keep it, uh, keep it level 1, and then, you know, put up signs in a row behind it, and uh, go from there. And that seems to work okay. It's kind of a pain sneaking them in between these uh, signs, but it can be done. And, uh, and the advantage here is just that once you, uh, once you do that, then it's easy to knock the signs out, like I was showing before. All you do is you just dig below, and that knocks them out. It's a lot easier than doing this stacking these uh, too high. I've been doing this other way of doing it, which is to stack the signs too high. But it's kind of a pain. <laughs> it's, uh, it's hard to sort of exactly get the uh, signs on top of each other, so I'm sort of preferring this... Uh, this just filling in the bottom and then putting signs on top kind of method. The other technique that I've uh, sort of realized is making a gap. So once I make a little notch in the uh, notch, get it? Anyway, once I make a little notch in the, the uh, wall, the long wall of signs, then it's a lot easier to sort of get signs and whatnot into uh, into place. So I just thought I'd show it's uh, all cleared out grass is starting to grow in, and the, uh, the squids are uh, coming in to take a look. <laughs> Unfortunately, they get kind of beached here, I guess. Can you push them out? Oh yeah, I can push them out. So uh, we've got a little environmental thing here. You have to come here and save the squids from themselves. So that's about it. Anyway, I'll show you the uh, very final bit, I guess, once I've totally decorated this place. So here we are at the... Uh, above the tricked out place. We've finished it all up and I uh, have this cool entrance way to get in. Just dropping through that hole. The uh, the trick here is that this this light stone actually melts this uh, ice, but the ice interestingly enough doesn't pour down. Um, there's some sort of trickiness. I think it actually sort of flickers between water and ice or something like that. But anyway, it's a weird phenomenon that the uh, the water, anyway, just stays up there. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, and uh, welcome to my little uh, coffee uh, coffee place, my little cafe. So we have uh, we have the brew stand, you're brewing your coffee, and uh, you put your order in here, and uh, some generic art on the walls, and. You know, a Wi-Fi hotspot, I guess that's our technology center or something. Um, and just some tables and so on. So anyway, this is my cool little place. I just thought it was uh, entertaining to set it up as a little coffee house. And uh, there's also a sort of a, of course, a sort of secret way out because, hey, you know, this is the deranged science, I mean, uh, unstable, um, something like that, uh, scientist's laboratory area. So anyway, that's uh, that's that place. Come the next release, 1.4, I'll probably put in uh, cool, cool new uh, benches and whatnot because it can do stairs and different kinds of uh, woods and whatnot. But uh, anyway, that's about it. Thought I'd just show that off. See you now. Bye.